All right, let's get the stream started. Teleporters are offline. That's a new one. So where exactly are we even going anyway? Oh yeah, all the places. And I want to do it in order, so we go to Shinoa first. Monster's still just as weak as before, so that's not any different. That's a new one. Okay. So extra tough monsters decide to just show up out of nowhere. Titano bone and titano spine for those guys. Where are we on the map? Absorption, that's a new one. Question is, where exactly are the new stronger enemies? I want to go down. All right. That's not Warframe? Damn straight it isn't. I already said I didn't stream Warframe. I find it's not a enjoyable game for me to stream, so... If your life is alive for me not streaming Warframe, I think you need to get your priorities in order, my boy. Alright, so I should be able to do this. That's what he meant by a shortcut. It's wild, the Dragonus will never find us now. Won't be quite that easy. No one's passed through here since the Iskin sealed it up 200 years ago. There are bound to be some tough monsters in here. Probably Titano class, even. Might be best to head to Shinoa first. But what if I don't want to? Well, it's definitely a Titano. Well, they're all they're all Titanos. They're all pretty fucking huge. The wilderness. I'm ready to get absolutely bodied.
209 damage on a single hit. Need a break after every single fight. So what level is the enemy? If I could even find it, because I have no idea what enemy it was. Oh, I gotta lower your notifications on my phone, that's fun. See, that's a boss. Nope, 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 nope. No, no, no. I have no idea where he would be in the book. He'd, he'd be somewhere. How hard is this? I just want to know what his level is. There we go. I have to kill him a bunch more times in order to figure it out. Perfect. So this whole area is wilderness. So we'll head towards Shinoa then. I wouldn't be able to fight another one of them and not die without burning healing items. Okay, so they're out here too. How many of those enemies are scattered around this place? And how easily will we be able to kill them once we're high enough level? Dang it. Do I have any shortcut in learning programming or just read and experience? Um, it depends how what kind of learner you are. I'm more of the go and do it kind of guy, where I'll like tr like I go through better like having like a guide of how to do something, and I can just go out and actually do it. Like experiencing like actually typing things out and seeing it work for yourself. Oh boy, we have these boars here too now. Yeah, there's no real shortcut to learning. You have to go through at least two paces for learning one language. But if you learn one language, you can transfer that knowledge to pretty much any other language and it makes learning uh, something else much, much easier. Because they all use the same like format, just with a different syntax. Python is easy, but it'll still give you good learning base, or it'll be like starting from zero again? Exactly. Like, if you learn a lot of the things, like object-oriented programming, stuff like that, it can be transferred over to C++ once you understand how C++ works, or you can move on to C-sharp once you understand 
the syntax for C sharp. But don't half-ass it, and then just move on to a new language. They all have their own quirks, but the base of every single programming language is exactly the same. Until we have like something completely different, like people want to make like a free-form programming language that's basically the equivalent of human speech transcribed into code. Until we get that working, which is probably a long ways away still, it, they're all exactly the same. You could just find like certain packages to do things with Python. It can do it. Do, it can. It'll like look. Uh, try, trying to word it while I'm moving through the place here, not attacking everything. Um, yeah, just just learn one. Just learn like the basics, and then if you want to look up additions to that language, like. Python modules that do specific functions pretty easily for you. You can uh, build off of that, but always learn your basics first. And you can find some good free courses that you can audit online. So can you fast travel the ones you already visited? Okay, we have to revisit every single point again. Oh, hi. So those are all the. So that's one of the missing big cards. Then I see. following a book that I probably haven't heard of from the Head First series. I have not heard of the Head First series, so you're right about that. Those people with armor just now, they were really mean and scary. I'm glad they left. I wonder if all the Dragon Knights are scary like that. I wonder if all the Dragon Knights are scary like that. I don't like those guys. So the Dragon Knights invaded? The village and the capital never really had a strong bond, so the death of the king doesn't affect us that much. The only who really knew the king was the Eldress. To the rest of us, the king's murder is someone else's problem. And there were a connection to the capital, the death of the king didn't really stir our hearts much, I'm afraid. There's a nationwide manhunt underway to find the king's killer, but it's like they've already given up the search. They say that the Prime Minister cares only about money, and that he arranged this manhunt purely for show. The king must be weeping in his grave at the inability of the remaining dragon eyes to track down his killer. Do I have any good site or book to suggest to learn? If you've heard of Corsera, or however it's pronounced, like C-O-U-R-S-E-R-A, they have a bunch of uh, basically college, like online college courses, and you can do any of those courses for free, you just won't get a certificate. So you could find a bunch of like learn Python, learn C sharp courses on that site. And you could just audit the course for free. You just have to make an account on the site. So like you could get videos and they'll guide you through from like step one to like the bottom. And you can just build on build on from there. It's how that's how I refreshed my uh, mind when I did when I relearned uh, Python a bit ago, I was able to go through one of those courses over the course of about two weeks, just skipping through the lessons to the points that I cared about, and just get like skip skip to the points where he actually shows the code, and uh, ignore everything else. <laughs> but it depends on what level you're at. If you're at a low level, you might just uh, get more information out of seeing the entire course rather than skipping ahead like I did. So you may not be able to get through it in just two weeks. Unless you're really, really dedicated. The Dragon Knights are here looking for someone, is it you? You fit the profile they described perfectly. With that red hair of yours, you stand out. Even if you don't intend to. I'd lay low for a while if I were you. I'm sure you have your reasons, so I'll keep quiet about you. Was the king really killed? 
Like, someone actually assassinated him in his own private quarters? Unbelievable. Rumor has it that the kingdom's internal affairs are in a bad state. Someone must have really had, had it for him. Rumor has it the kingdom's internal affairs are in a bad state. Someone must have really had it in for the king. I am almost 100% certain it's the prime minister because... You know... Checks and balances. I I was asked if I'd seen a red-haired man. They, were, they weren't looking for you, were they? You sure don't look like a murderer. Redheads may be hit rare around here, but I can't imagine you're the king's assassin. You don't look the part. It's only a matter of time before they come around. I don't think we can keep them away forever. And if they come to search the village while you're here, I don't think there's any way we can hide you. If we're not careful, the Eldress will be charged with harboring a fugitive. Needless to say, that would be bad. Hi, Eldress. Grandma, I'm back! Elk, my boy, welcome back! You sure don't look like a murderer, so, says the guy that killed a bunch of stuff just to get to the city. I mean, they're monsters! They, like, respawn like rabbits, and nobody likes them. I mean, are hunters murderers? If you're not PETA, your answer is probably no. They have feelings too. Most mo most of the most of those monsters' feelings are I want to kill humans. <laughs> They're all pretty darn aggressive in this universe. Why well, so many people in tow too? Are the elders of the other tribes with you? Elders Fatima, it has been a while. Ah, oh, it's you. My haven't you grown? I believe this is our first meeting. I am Ashera, the Eldress of Kylos. Ah, yes, I've heard much about you. You come a long way. I'm Fatima, the Eldress of Shinoa. As you can see, things have been rather busy around here. I apologize for the lack of hospitality. And... From the looks of it, Ciarius must have told you everything. You have heard the dragons. I guess it was you guys after all. I was surprised too. Never thought old Adol here would become the dragon warrior. I'm guessing you know what's going on already? I have a general idea from what the tiny fairy told me. I would have preferred to attend in person, but I'm not young enough to travel such distances anymore. I had no choice but to send Delk in my place, and for that I offer my apologies. I see. <laughs> I'm just glad I could help you out. By the way, Grandma, do you know anything about these sanctums? Apparently there's something called a sanctum beyond the altar. So you're going to the sanctum. Do you know how to get there? Of course, I'm the Eldris, and that's more than just a fancy title. But let's not discuss this here. Come to my house, we'll talk more there. It's got a Cyberus ribbon mod that looks insane. Nice. I don't use a Cyberus. Never a huge fan of it. I like full auto weapons. Not a big semi auto guy. So, where were we? Ah, yeah, some Dragonites came to the village looking for you. So they've been here already. They certainly work fast. Well, it wasn't just after an earthquake. I suggest that since, since they were here already, they should clear out some of the dangerous monsters in the forest. <laughs> That's some quick thinking there. There's no need to worry as long as you're in this village. Not a soul will cause you any harm. So about that sanctum. Ooh, the music cut out. Elders Fatima. What kind of places are the Sanctums? Hmm, well they say the Sanctums are the dwelling places of the Five Dragons. The Dragons have been there since the beginning of time and have fallen into a deep slumber. As they sleep, their powerful energy changed each den into what we call the Sanctums today. They truly are the realms of Dragons, as no human can enter them. With the notable exception of the Dragon Warrior, of course. Hmm, go on. The elders of each of the five tribes have a unique incantation passed down through the generations. And when the destined warrior appears, they are to lead him to the dragon sanctums with these incantations. That is the duty of the village elders. So that's why we need to seek out, seek out help from all of them. <coughs> Grandma, please teach me the incantation. I'll lead them all to the sanctum myself. I thought you'd say that. Even after I just explains what a dangerous place it is. But I want to help everyone, please. Pretty please. 
If you don't do something, Altago's gonna be in big trouble, right? It's not like this doesn't affect me, too. After hearing what's gonna happen, you can't just expect me to do nothing. Yes, indeed. While you have displayed surprisingly good behavior lately, your martial abilities may still be lacking, but if this many are going... Then you'll teach me the spell? Grandma, you're the best. Don't get too excited now. I'm truly sorry. I should be the one leading you. But I most likely would not be much help. Please, take this child instead. He, has, he still has much to learn, but he is of the Elder Family. He is qualified to lead you. Thank you. If he gets out of line, you have my permission to scold him. Now, Elk, I will teach you the incantation. You'll lead the Dragon Ward to the Sanctum. Okay. I'm ready. Elk learned the spell. That is descriptive. It is said that the altar deep within the ancient tree is the entrance to the Earth Sanctum. I first thought he was giving the child a sacrifice. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> no one has entered it for at least several centuries. There's no telling what awaits you there. Be careful. The story would definitely be more interesting if it did involve human sacrifice, though. The stakes would be much higher. It would be like the very cliche JRPG trope of leaving all of your allies as you move on to the final boss. <laughs> You should be able to enter the Earth Sanctum from the Earth Altar inside the ancient tree to the north of here. Sanctum, similar to Dragon Sleep, are places that have been transformed by draconic energies. No one's been to the Sanctums in centuries, though. I cannot even imagine what awaits you there, so please be very, very careful. Alrighty then. Word of the King's assassinate is read throughout Otago in no time. You should probably lie low for a while. Anyone unfamiliar with your circumstances will still think you as fugitives, so try to lie low for a bit. No dragon eyes have come since the Elders Fatima chased off the last band. You're safe here for sure. Remember that everyone in the village is behind you 100%. You can trust us. The entire village is committed to protecting you. We won't let those, we won't let those dragon eyes lay a finger on you. Thank you, my guy. Oh, hello. Have you been well? Thank you for taking care of the Guardian statue for me the other day. I'm very grateful. The Guardian statue's been there since I was a little girl. I used to go there almost every day to pay my respects. It looked lonely, so I asked my husband to build a small shrine around it. I just hope it survived the recent earthquake intact. I'd go take a gander myself, but everyone tells me it's dangerous and they won't let me leave the village. Well, we have another quest. Perhaps you could go check on the statue in my place, Sonny? I'd like to give you an offering, too. I think seven nad leaf flowers and five strigger leaves should be enough, don't you? both rare, though, so I don't have any more on me. Would you be a deer and track down the rest before you go? You give me one. And expect me to get all the rest for you? Cheap lady. I'm sorry to ask you to do this again, but I'll gladly pay you for helping me give an offering to the statue. For Forest Guardian Part 2. Added to the journal. Well, there had the Guardian statue look. I don't know. I heard from the long variety that someone broke into the palace recently. I heard they let pirates and adventurers into the palace, too. What are you even paying their security forces for? To think someone would assassinate our king. There was a break-in before that, too. What lacks security? Is someone... Is it true that someone actually killed the king? i never seen the king myself, but there must have been a big commotion in the city. 158 crit damage and 175 crit chance? That is actually really fucking good. Is it only those two, though? Nothing else? With minus 24 reload speed, it's not too bad, but it's a bit of a pain in the ass. I was asked if I'd seen a red-haired man. You only oh yeah, we, we already talked to that person. Oh, customer. Fortunately, I was able to restock last time the logma cart came by. I have some good weapons, too. Why not take a look? Your money's good here as anyone else's. So that last earthquake was really something else, wasn't it? I lost a lot of med my medicine. My poor shells rattled and shook, and all the bottles came tumbling down. What you got? I cannot afford any of these. Nice. I hate being poor. <laughs> Let's see, I could buy three of those. Just to be maxed out, but I'll probably get some in the dungeon. 
I highly doubt that the Sanctum is literally just one area. I bet it's an entire long, drawn-out dungeon. Let's see, can you make anything special? Nope. Well, I guess we might as well uh, complete that quest. Do we have uh, that item that increases money? Dang. Let's see. I should check abilities, too. Because... I don't want to deal with people not learning abilities. Light Scud Sword? Something I didn't master, okay. Let's see. Part of the S Dock. I need to learn every single skill for an achievement. She has Absorption, which is new. That's part of her Marble Rod, I'm guessing. Uh -huh. You have so few skills, it's embarrassing. You learned Spin Edge. And you have Spark Pound. Guess I can switch out Doggy for Mustafa. the Dragon Knights I've heard so much about. Until their equipment isn't just for show. I guess they really do take on Titanos, just not here. The Dragon Knights may be haughty, but I guess if you could cop a two I guess you could cop a two to get the skill to back it up. You don't think many people like being poor? <laughs> yeah, true enough. They asked for our help, yet when we are in need, they never offered us theirs. Those Dragon Knights have some nerve. The king is gone, who's running the country? As I recall, the princess is still far too young for the task. Prime Minister. Duh. He wants to make money. To think the king himself was assassinated. Whatever the motive might have been, I'm, might, I'm disturbed by the deed itself. It may not have happened here in the village, but we're all part of Altago. We must protect our Eldris. There's someone out there willing to kill even the sovereign of our land. We have to stay sharp. Yeah, this whole thing reeks of the Prime Minister being the one to kill him, but it might be way too obvious and they're using that as a red herring. <laughs> I've never seen dragons before. They looked really cool. I hope they catch a fugitive soon. I bet the fugitive is some low-down dirty dude. I hope they catch him soon. That's a mean thing to say about Adol. What? Dragonites again? I don't care what happened to the king. What did you miss of the game? Uh, you missed about 20 hours worth of game. So, if you want a general rundown of the story, Adol, this dude, sh showed up here with a uh, muscly guy, Dogi, here. They, sh they showed up there just basically exploring, and they ended up finding out that Adol is worthy of being the chosen one in this whole prophecy thing of these dragons awakening, pretty much. You know, typical stuff. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm here trying to save my village and everyone just gets in the way. So, re so in the, re in the recent, uh, Adol got accused of killing the king who lives in the main city over here, which is like a really big trade city. Dragonites? More like clanging frights, am I right? They're so loud, they're skimming away all the fish. Not that we can actually eat any of the fish, on account of this disgusting plague ridden water. It's getting almost impossible to fish. I'm a man who loves this fish. Alright. So, Adol get, got, uh, got uh, accused as being the murderer, with 
the only proof being he was the last known person to be in the room with them before he died. So yeah, that's good, that's good enough reason to uh, kill somebody, right? Or accuse them of, of being a murderer because they were just the last one in the room. At least the last one that they say was in the room. And so, the whole turmoil is like causing like the entire land to pretty much implode. That's why there's these like giant monsters like this boar here. Called Titanos. Because just their size is ridiculous. And also he's getting the shit kicked out of him right now. He's like such an awful character. He is very slow and cannot dodge very well. But yeah, pretty much the entire, this entire country is falling to pieces. And yeah, stop pulling poor animals, but they give EXP. That's a worthwhile reason. charge, man. If you only have that one attack, you now we can tail whip, too. Yeah, monsters are a menace in this game. I am... It is my right to uh, self-defense. Ah, here we are. It's an old guardian statue. Fortunately, the shrine doesn't seem to be broken anywhere. The elderly woman asks you to offer the statue seven Nadley flowers and five Strigalees, but you don't have enough. Are you kidding me? I don't have any Strigalees. Where the fuck do you get Strigalees? God damn it. You never fought that. Maybe I'm the monster? Well, if I walk towards them, they will immediately try to kill me, so I think I'm a little bit more in the right. Yeah, I need Striga leaves. Do I even have Striga seeds? I do not. So it's a leaf that I have not found yet. Maybe they're scared? Oh no. They are most definitely aggressive. They're, they're a menace to society. The people here are the evidence. The big monster didn't respawn. Is there like a resource, uh... Dang it. I, I wasted an item. God damn it. Oh, cool. That kind of stinks. Well, that's not really useful. It doesn't even tell you what you need. Then I guess we'll press on then. Gotta make it to the shrine. So where were the Dragon Knights? 
Halt, fugitive. Oh boy. I finally found you, Adolf Kristen. Crap, a dragon knight. Aren't you Ayusha's guardian? Look, that was all a misunderstanding. Adol didn't do anything. Don't move. I've already knock knocked an arrow. Try to escape, and I'll lose it with no regrets. Damn it. Adol Kristen, I thought you'd managed to escape the kingdom entirely. What is a wanted felon doing here? Are you real? What are you really after? It'll explain the imminent destruction Altago was facing, and that he was on his way to speak with the five dragons uh, to ask how to stop it. What? Destruction? Dragons? You must be out of your mind. I don't care if you are, though. Just answer me this. You really did not assassinate His Majesty, correct? It all nodded without hesitation. Your eyes. They seem honest. Guess there's nothing more to say, then. I made a promise. I'll be joining you now. Huh. I'm gonna run out of room on the side card. What? Why? What do you want? It was the princess's request. They're doing all they can to help Altago. I can't help them, so I want you to go on my behalf. That's what she told me. Oh. Then what was all that with the bow and arrow? For a moment there, I thought you were actually gonna kill us. Yes, that was my intention, or at least I considered it. Make no mistake, I do not trust you. Not entirely. E even if aiding you was a request from the princess, a lot of you sound like raving lunatics to me. Do you think you can put Slash on an, ig on an Ignis? Here's the thing. You can put Slash damage on an Ignis. It doesn't mean it will be applied because it does not have any impact puncture or Slash damage on it. So it will literally do nothing. If you, have any, if you do anything suspicious, I won't hesitate to arrest every one of you no questions asked. Do not forget that. Yowza. What a scary woman. Don't worry. We'll get all about for Adol and Dogi. I believe that if you travel alongside us, everything will become clear. There's no such thing as too much help when you have a mission like ours. We welcome you, Dragon Knight. I am Sigrun. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Does she have all the same bow and arrow skills that Aisha did? I never thought I'd be cooperating with a fugitive. Wait, no, this isn't cooperation. If anything, it's more like surveillance. That's right, I'm doing nothing wrong. I'm simply carrying out my duties. She's in denial. Uh, yeah, you're definitely something else, that's for sure. Well, welcome aboard, I guess. So Gruen joined the party. Alright, let's check. Uh, yep. She uses all of Aisha's skills and has all of everything she learned, so we're probably not going to be getting Aisha back. At least not until the final dungeon, maybe. But anyway... Good on that. be the best weapon for index. Um, whatever deals the most raw DPS. But the thing is, you can bring uh, Mesa to the index and kill everything really easily. So, I'll be honest, something like Mesa would probably be the best way to go about it. Well, yeah, that's why you pick up energy and bring Zanurik for more energy. Another 
thing that works would be Excalibur Umbra. But it also means no points for you. Well, if you want to be honest with what I bring to the Index, I actually have a special build for Rhino that I use. You don't trust other people. Then Rhino would probably be your best bet. Just because you build him for maximum power strength. With, uh, along with, uh, what is it called? Uh, whatever, like, puncturing iron skin is. Iron shrapnel, that's it. If you use iron shrapnel, then uh, you can reset your iron skin. So you just run into energy and then press two twice. Get full shields again. And that's normally enough to get through the first round of the index with, without any problems whatsoever. Um, uh, where is it? Here we go. Alright, so what's over here then? That's a dead end. Oh, one of the missing Picards. We got a white talisman. Alright. What does the white talisman even do? Uh, prevents all status effects. Holy shit, that's actually really good. It's the ribbon of this game. Nice. Alright then, so... Got that back. altar. The Earth Altar. Guess this must be the place connected to the Earth Sanctum, right? The mysterious presence feels closer than before. Since you were chosen as a dragon warrior, the dragons have may already have started waking up. But to wake them up completely, you need to get to the deepest regions of the Sanctums. Oh great, so we have another dungeon. So we need the incantation then. Elk, it's all you know. Alright, I got this. Let's open up this Sanctum. In the land of life and blessings, thou awarded fertility to thy people. May the silence of the deep forest, love, and grace of the land lead us, the people, to thee. It's a teleportation spell. fire magic and lots of it. The Earth Sanctum. So this is the Earth Sanctum. Looks like trouble's in our future. So the Great Dragon is in here somewhere, huh? Alright, let's get moving. Perfect. Alright then. Yeah, you know, we can never switch out Adol. So then... Party. Geese. Elk. He has spin edge on his B, so that works. Steel? Tackles enemies knocking money from them. Cool. Let's do this. Oh. 
What is this strange substance? It has a very odd consistency. I think it's, I've seen this before. Oh, it's set from the ancient tree. That mean... I don't really know how, but I guess we're still inside the ancient tree. And that means... Ancient tree sap, probably. Um... Frozen peace. Hmm. The thing in the middle of this room, is it a flower? It looks just like the other flowers that bloom on the ancient tree, but the, but the size. You think there's something special about it? Probably. Alright. Earth stones. What are you doing? Oh, feeding it to that center flower. Scud Sword. Oh, Strigga Leaves. Perfect. Didn't realize we could get them in here. But now we can. Perfect. Oh no. Oh no. His armor. Uh, Dogi is much better than Mustafa. 100%. Okay, now that that is actually learned, let's see, let's keep let's keep geese in the party. Let's go! All right. Some crystals. Shield Ring 3. Oh, there's a third one? Huh. Out of curiosity... Let's see, 3 is only 50. Good, but not great. Pineapples? What hell are there pineapples here for? Let's see. If you got if you learn Scud Sword, then I can just equip this because more damage. Send around with the party. Bring in Sagroon. I am ready. Because she has a new skill to learn. Ha! 
It doesn't have to be effective, I just have to be able to use it. I wonder, is the EXP given on just the amount of SP that is used? Because if that is the case, that is stupid. Looks like you can go down from here. Go down. Okay. how exactly they determine what skills to use, but we do not want absorption on her, because that kind of sucks. Let's see. Rejection would probably be a lot better. So I'll put that on. Oh, wait. Wind cutter. Alright, ready to not be picky about who I'm using. Why can't I speed up this cutscene? Huh. What did that do? Oh. Probably have to kill those before you move on. There's a way to stop that thing early. Ooh, poison? That's no fun. Get that shit out of here. Ooh, 20,000 gold. That's enough for a single new weapon. Let me. So you go this way because it's a dead end. Poison's gonna kill me. Contains Sabrina Ensign's but we cannot carry it. stone ring. Does that prevent stone, or does it cause stone? Like petrify. Let's see. Quite a few ways we can go down here. Oh, 
No. A little spider. Twenty or stones? Dogie's dying. Wonder, can we? We can't damage those until they're already activated. Okay. Those fly traps. They look. They look sort of like fly fly traps or piranha plants or whatever. This will end badly. Well, that works. Plenty of time to run through. I'm gonna try to fashion all your frames to see if you got one for the giveaway. What giveaway? Because I actually don't know about it. Like, I heard him talking about it, but I just didn't really care, so I didn't really say anything. So it's just like a base Warframe fashion frame contest. Mango is giving away 2k plat. Who? Who's Mango? To win you need best fashion frame, but who's Mango? Oh, there goes Adol. RNG. Oh, Banana Mango Festival. I still think that's the stupidest name. No wonder he changed it. Ah, oh, this is bad. We must fight. Edel, Edel should not be the one to die. Because he cannot be removed from the party because with him being dead. Oh no. Let's see, we should be able to teleport out of here. Okay. You teleport out and just run back. All right. Hopefully it's nice and quick to get back. Why don't we just touch it? Is there even an announcement in the Discord for that? I don't remember seeing one. but he said like 20 times during his stream. You think any of the clan mates really watch his stream? <laughs> if we're being perfectly honest here? I mean, I don't expect people to watch his stream. It's a surprise you're even here, to be honest. But if, if he says there's going to be a giveaway, he should definitely uh, say something about it in the Discord so people know. As well as uh, in like the Warframe clan chat. You always saw him at max three viewers. Was that just today? Or is that all the time? Because I think the three viewers may have been him, me, and you. Did 
met him, I think, four days ago. Meeting him four days ago, honestly, that's a surprising part to me, considering he works the uh, graveyard shift at his work. Unless he... Unless he got better hours, but I never see him online during the week. Level six, nice. Let me. And every level it makes every everything in the future easier. back to where we were when Adol died. Dang it! Where does that happen? Take 100 damage. The last thing I want to do is waste healing items. Oh, cool. Poison ring. Thank you. I can't believe I forgot to pick that up. So we'll lead back to the other thing we have to destroy. Yep. That is a ranged attack. That is interesting. Are completed. Another thing of the sap going to the big flower in the center now. It's gonna fucking explode. Can't wait. What does my job consist of? Someone asks me for software and I make it? Pretty much. I'm not like the lead software developer or anything. So, I'm more like, pretty much it's me and one other person. We're the two main software guys there. 
so we just uh, are told, like, this is what we need for our jobs, and we need you to make it. Relatively straightforward. Of course, everything that I learn can be applied to other stuff, which is always nice. The more the more things you make, the mo the easier it gets, and the more you learn. You learn what stupid mistakes you originally made back when you were first learning stuff. There's another teleportation circle in there? What the hell? Monster spine times 20. Pleasant. Oh. We're not done yet. There's a whole other section. What the hell is that then? The slime monster? The slime golem? Because it takes extra damage from, uh, Slash. Spring water. 20 more earth stones. Okay. This poison is killing me, literally. Who the fuck killed 20 monsters, opened their back, and fucking took the spine just to put in a damn chest? You know, I never really thought about that, but now I'm going to question that every time I see it. Who is the crazy son of a bitch who just placed all these chests everywhere? Spring water and tainted water. doing? You just keep running into a corner and changing places. Those guys' life savings comes back, it's like, how the fuck is my chest in the middle of weight where anyone could take it is empty? Pirates. They just left their treasure, thinking nobody would ever get to this area of the forest. Because it literally requires somebody from a very specific bloodline to be alive and know the incantation to even open the way. to the chest get there in the first place? That's the exact point. It makes no goddamn sense. JRPG logic. Well, it's kind of like that in pretty much any game, any of those games you play. Like in Skyrim, there's a lot of stuff that's in places where it's like, how the, f why the fuck is this even here in the first place? Doesn't make any sense. All right, we need to equip this. We need to equip the shiny rock. Oh God, it's Mothman! Yes. 
And it's a bunch of tiny moss. I really hate these enemies already. Also, we have not ran into a single healing totem. God damn it. What? Okay then. Guess we get a reward for killing all these annoying maws. We get a training ring too. That's actually really good. What games do I play mostly? Um, on stream, if you can name something that has like a good story, I will probably end up playing it if I have not played it already. Which, uh, a lot of games with a good story tend to be JRPGs, or games that I have not played earlier entries into the series of. Like, I still need to complete Kingdom Hearts. That's still on the list. And I am not... I am still in the middle of that, but I decided to take a extended break. Let's see. Terrain Vortex. That's a new one. Wait, is that... That's a 60? That's Highway Robbery. Alright, party. Swap. Give Adol the S-Stock so he can use a better... He can use this... The Last of Us? I actually have it remastered on PS4 on the shelf back there. I do plan on playing that eventually. I've heard that is a really, really good game. Eventually? Yes, eventually. I can only play one game at a time. I lose interest if I play more than one. Especially if it's a story-based game. Cause then, like, I mix up details of stories and shit. It gets a lot less fun for me. So you have a lot of games on my list. That's the, that's the only problem. When you have, a, like, a list of games that you want to play, and shit just piles up like crazy, it gets a little bit out of hand. Favorite game? Um, hard to say, but uh, counting nostalgia goggles, I would probably say Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door still. How old am I? Uh, 24. Please give us a totem that we can heal at. This game... Okay, thank god. I, For a second I thought we were just going right into the boss fight, and I was going to say this game is a total dick. I feel a strange but familiar presence. But yeah, this is grade A boss fight arena shape. Oh no, it's just a teleporter. Where are we? Have I played Dark Souls? I suck at Dark Souls. So no, I have not beaten it. Warrior. Destined Warrior. I bid thee welcome. I made it maybe 10 to 15% through the game. And I was just like, I don't feel like playing this anymore. Wasn't having too much fun. You stand in my domain of old. 
I am the five dragons. I am the earth. And Radamanj is my name. Although, if I'm being honest, if I went back to play it, I'd probably be able to beat it. If I feel... Honestly? Like, given time, I probably could, but... I just don't care. The dragon's already awake? Yo, wait all. Let's get some answers from him. About the anomalies, Iskin fever, and about the wind of destruction in the bounds of Altago. It'll ask the voice how to stop the wind of destruction. Indeed. Thou art fit to inherit the power. Thou who wouldst stand against the wind of destruction. That's a big monster. That's the dragon? This is my favorite frame in Warframe? Frost. Prove thou art able. Like, I, ha I have a good uh, connection with Frost, and I like his 100% armor stripping armor stripping build. That's always fun to use every once in a while. Thy soul, thy body. Thou canst survive the rigors of my trial. Thou shalt receive my power. A test, huh? So, if we beat this guy, we'll get the power we need, right? Get ready. So. I'm dealing no damage to him. Ah, we have to blow up the crystals and then we'll be able to do something. Is going to rotate? Yep. Nice HP. Ah, oh, poison. Do I speak another language? And what do I mean by 100% armor stripping? I do not speak another language at all. I speak very minor Spanish. This never turned out too well. Excuse me, what now? Um. Oh, he sealed off this area. And 100% armor stripping means, uh, like, like, uh, enemies that have armor like Grenier. I can, uh, make it so they have zero armor by using, uh, Frost 4. Because if you have enough power strength, 254% to be exact, you can, uh, strip 100% of their armor. You know what it means, but how? Uh... I just told ya. Yeah. 254% power strength. Dang it, got poisoned again. I got you this time. Time for a heal. Oh, 
Oh, you're done with this? But I'm not done. I want to damage you more. Uh, tracks you very slightly. Alright, if I lose, I'm gonna have to reload and equip poison resist items. Because this poison, it is very bad. Considering how long it lasts. Dragon, he's the one who's testing me. You can't blame me for him wanting to have a fight. I just wanted the power to stop the whole literal destruction of this entire country thing. watch animes? Question. Look at this game and tell me what you think. <laughs> oh no, Dogi got stuck down there. Oh no, he jumped over the crystals. Okay. my favorite one. Aww, what happened? Oh, shit. This is not what I, ex what I was expecting at all. <laughs> he has fucking laser eyes? What does this do? I have no idea how to fight this guy. We're literally just running in, running in a circle at this point. Uh, my favorite anime, continuing on, uh, probably Steins Gate. I really thought it was a really good show. One of these... Ally is a good zero HP. Nah, he's good. Allies can't die. They hit one HP and then are just stuck with that. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. 
I'm guessing I have to uh, knock him down. What the? Okay, that didn't do anything. I have no idea what those crystals are even for. Ha! <laughs> he missed. Take that. That's, that's a new one. That was pretty good. all died, but revive. Dang it. He died again. So much for that. Well, he's still, he's pretty strong, so he should be able to handle it. Okay, revive everybody. Heal everybody. Give us all our energy back. Alright, he's almost dead. Still don't know if this is the right way to beat him. In terms of, like, maybe there's a way to knock him down, but he's gonna die. Dang it, 48 HP left. There we go. Got him. And achievement unlocked, too. Fun. We only used up all of our items. And now we have to buy them back. Very well. I grant thee my aid. Thou shalt have the power of the Earth's embrace. Who needs items anyway? Considering how I used them all up in every single boss fight? Me. <laughs> we got the Earth Dragon Stone. Does it do a thing? Or does it not do a thing? O oh, descendants of those who beseech me here today, I grant thee my protection. Okay. Divine protection of Earth Dragon was granted to Elk. Elk can now use Geo Cluster as his extra skill. Oh, they get bonus super attacks. Humans, you now hold your hand hold in your hands the fate of all of Altago. Resist the destruction as long as you are able. All right. Where? Well, it seems we were brought back to the Earth by the Earth Dragon's power. So that was one of the five great dragons of Altago. I heard about them in the legends, but I wasn't prepared for the real deal. Yeah, seriously, I didn't have, even have time to be surprised. Boy, are you alright? You were surrounded by a strange light. Totally fine. Not hurting anywhere. Actually, now that you mention it, I feel stronger. 
It is the protection of the great earth dragon. It should not be harmful. By the way, Adol, what was, what was that it that you received? Well, yeah, some shiny stone, right? Pretty. Whoa. It's that stone. Put it away, Adol, now. Yeah, the protection of the pocket is very strong. Man, that scared me. Okay, so it's obviously packing some big power, but as for how to use it, well, I got no idea. It harbors a divine power, the great earth dragon. It's really quite extraordinary. And since it was given to Adol, that stone may the, be the very thing we need to stop the wind of destruction. He's not hurting anywhere. He only died a few times. Well, as long as you as long as you have potions, everything's good. Power like that, we could probably use it to counter all the anomalies and whatnot. Then we just need to find out what exactly we need to stop the wind of destruction. We need to visit the other dragons and see if they'll grant us their power too. Oh boy, story. And I assume it will be as we agreed. Absolutely. The location will be demolished and turned into a merchant district, which you may use as you please. I'm grateful for your services as always, to say nothing of the recent tax breaks. It's all for the prosperity of Altago. Now I've done my part, I expect results. Of course. Orbis. Oh hi. Your Highness, what is the matter? Good day, Your Highness. Huh. Don't play dumb with me. Prime Minister, what is the meaning of these new policies you set in motion? A new merchant district in place of Old Town? I'm the Sovereign here. You can't just make all the decisions. Oh, that. The plan is to revive the district that is now Old Town and transform it into a prosperous market paradise. It is a completely logical decision to promote commerce and stimulate economic growth. And the decision was reached quite quickly, as there was clearly no need for discussion. I didn't hear a thing about it. Well, of course not. You are a princess, not a king. Technically, at this point, she would be a queen, right? By default. His majesty has passed. And that logic and logic dictates that city politics should be left to us in his absence. If you wish to watch and learn, please feel free to do so, as long as you keep your mouth shut. I was in the middle of making arrangements for that policy right now, as a matter of fact. Well, it seems like it was an inside job at this point. I'm sorry. All we have are fever reducers. Thank you. Back to Old Town. What is going on here? So many Iskin fever outbreaks in such a short period of time. It is most likely fabricated. At this rate, we won't be able to treat them all. <laughs> oh no, not... Not Maya. I'm sorry, Maya. Hang in there. Please, it won't be much longer. Back to the story. We'll be able to fast travel straight out to Shinoa Village. Is there some kind of item you have in your bag that's making you feel all warm and fuzzy around you? I don't know why, but I feel so warm and relaxed when I'm close to you. I don't know if it's love or magic. <laughs> it's so warm and relaxed when I stand next to you. Do you have something in your bag that's doing this? Hmm. They can all feel the destructive power of the Earth Dragon Stone. I can feel the chaos in the forest very clearly when I stand here. Even the monsters are anxious, and that can only lead to trouble. The forest, I can hear it crying. Something is amiss. In the site you said, in the site you said in skill, there's a lot of programming stuff in Panda. What the fuck is pandas? I would not be able to answer that. Because I am not exactly sure what you're talking about. Like pictures? I don't know. Lately, there have been more and more monsters killed in the hunt that could not be eaten due to disease. The situ if the situation continues, Shinol to continue will lose the ability to support itself. Uh, isn't that the same dialogue? Yeah, it's the same dialogue. Hmm. 
That's 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 a new one. It doesn't really have a tongue now. I'm not. I saw how Elk was when his parents died, so I really feel for her. Pretty sure that's different. Alright, so they're looking into the King's assassination, aren't they? Like, really looking into it? Either way, a bigger concern here in Shinoa is not having enough fish to eat, and I love me some fish. Now I have to go all the way to the ancient tree to get drinking water now. It really sucks. Oh yeah, the king being killed? Nothing cheerful about that. No siree. Makes it difficult to keep up my maturing demeanor. It would be like us losing Eldris Fatima. The very thought makes me shudder. The view must be so confused. But hey, no sense getting all pensive, is there? Yes, yes, think happy thoughts. We need to stay cheerful, especially in times like these. So, we have 60,000 gold, but only so much. We'll bl we, we, we'd end up blowing it all on armor, but I think first things first would be restoring our stockpile of healing items. Alright. See. New ability should come first. You search for Python, there's a filter for result, language level skills, and there's computer programming, computer programming, machine learning, and fucking pandas. <laughs> okay, I cannot answer you. I, I cannot answer what the hell that is. Sorry about that. The fuck is this thing? Oh, that thing just looks deadly. See, this has a new ability on it, so... And now I'm out of money. Nice. Oh, cool! You, you got a bunch of new items you could forge, too. Cool. Power Smash. That's a new one. Heavy Blast. If I can make it, why not? Empower. And once again, I am poor. And I'm lacking resources. Let's see, so Adol got a new ability. Power Smash. He gets a new ability. And Ground Fang, I guess. I could switch out Dogi from Mustafa so he can use Empower. Strike allies to boost them. <laughs> okay. The water's been getting murky and the fish is starting smelling kind of, well, unpleasant to say the least. Aldris Fatima told me not to talk about it, though. She said it would just impress everyone. Eh. We may not be able to fish in this forest anymore. Oosh. But the monster's turning violent. It's getting much harder to catch a game for the village. If we encounter. Any more Titanos or violent monsters, it may be necessary to cease hunting entirely. Uh, I am almost certain these are the same. The Titanos are eating up on the forest animals. With every hunt, we get see less and less game. It's impossible for humans and Titanos to inhabit the same area. We can't hunt as well as before due to Titanos. This is the village is doomed. The Titanos need to be driven out of Shinoa if it's ever to know true peace. They're obviously coming from far inland, but, can't, but I can't tell what path they're taking to get here. Yeah, those like tunnels. Where are they coming from? That one's new. I don't recognize that one, because I remember he talked about the Dragonites being wimps. Oh. Yeah, we can we can leave that for now. Looks like the Dragonites have actually left Shinoa Woods altogether. I was hoping they'd stick around to help get rid of the savage monsters around here, but of course they didn't. I know they only came here in search of their most wanted criminal and all, but still. Ah, 
Ah, you're back. You know, it's a great earth dragon I trust. Yeah, we did, but Grandma? What is it? You're looking awfully troubled there. It all explained to Fatima what happened to the Sanctum. I see, I see. So you weren't able to get any concrete information, then. The five great dragons have sustained Altago since cre its creation, though. There must be a reason behind their actions. I agree with your assessment. Go visit the other dragons and see if any of them can tell you what's what. Yep, that's the plan. Oh, unless you think your journey will be an easy one, the Dragonite seem to be on full force now. Wherever it is you must go, go with caution. If they catch you, it's all over. Alright. The five dragons have sustained this land since the beginning of time. I'm sure they must know something about the Wind of Destruction. I believe it would be best for you to visit the others and inquire further. You are given the Dragon Stone, it seems. The dragons must know about the Wind of Destruction. I believe it would be best for you to visit the others and inquire further. <coughs> I was told not to eat wild fruit because the water's getting dirty so they could be contaminated. I can't even eat the fruit in the forest of the west. It's so lame. I love picking fruit off the trees and eating it, and they told me not to do that anymore. Lame. Plants are stagnating, and the monsters seem to be getting sick and turning violent on account of the murky waters. I wish at least Elk would stay behind to lend his considerable skill to our hunting and fishing needs. No, Elk has his own mission, and we knew he won't stand in his way. The rest of us will figure something out, don't worry. No one knows why the waters are getting murkier, or why them titanos began living in the forest. So what the hell do we do? If he decides to give you a swift kick in the arse, how do you fight that? I mean, robbed of my freedoms, I tell you. What the hell is happening to this world? Uh, the literal end of it. The literal end of the world. Power smash. Alright then, well, let's go complete the little quest we had over here. The end of the world or the end of the human race? Um... As far as, as, far as they say, it's pretty much going to be the destruction of this continent. But... Can you stop being an idiot, Adolf? And just hit the damn corpse so we gain back SP. Um, it, it would likely be a calamity that spreads to the whole world. I feel like that would be the most likely scenario of what would happen. If it doesn't get stopped. Wow, that is a very noisy ability. I played Persona 5. Uh, the Persona games are on my list. Oh, hey, how's it going, Trixie? There's a, there's a lot of games that I have not played. Just like how there's a lot of movies I haven't seen, a lot of TV shows I haven't seen. Can you stop killing me? Please. For five minutes. I hate heavy blades. Heavy blades are awful. There's an old guardian statue. Fortunately, the shrine doesn't seem to be broken anywhere. The only woman in Shinola asks you to offer a guardian statue of seven daily flowers and five striga leaves. Offer flowers and striga leaves, or leave it alone. He laid seven deadly flowers and five striga leaves in front of the guardian statue. What the fuck? Looking at it, it feels like the shrine surrounding the statue is leaning slightly to one side. It may be that the shrine is on the verge of breaking apart. No guardian statue. 
The statue is adorned with flowers and offerings. It looks brilliant. However, from the sound it made, the shrine surrounding it may be coming apart. Let's head this way. And back this way. To respawn all the monsters. So we can continue filling out the notebook. Also, for every monster we kill, it adds to our counter to beef up that one item that we have. I can't believe I forgot about that item. Probably because by the time I got it, it was too weak to actually be important. Smash has learned, so now I no longer have to use that or this weapon. Fortunately, I can't kill a lot of these enemies otherwise. But that's not a big deal right now. We just need to run back here and do do the quest. Oh, you made the offering to the Guardian Center for me? Thank you. What? A cracking noise in the shrine? It's awful. The wood must be getting old. It needs to be fixed. Oh, before I forget, here's your payment for helping me. Thanks. Sorry to ask you more of you, but could you perhaps fix the Guardian Spirit Shrine up for me? I'm pretty sure that my late husband used withered hardwood and fossilized twigs when he originally built it. You probably need, oh, I'd say 20 of each? Please, you're the only ones I can ask. The Guardian protects the forest. If you fix a shrine, it can keep, keep watch over us all all in comfort. Oh, there. How'd the guardian statue look? No. I need 20 of those twigs? Did it even say? No, it just says bring the designated offerings. Like, how many, how many of those twigs do I even have? Pretty sure I used most of those on, uh, I have 18 fossilized twigs. Withered hardwood. I have... Okay, so I need two more fossilized twigs. I could probably find it if I teleport into here, run backwards, and kill some enemies. Because I'm pretty sure, like, the enemies in the end here drop them. Doesn't hurt to fill up the notebook a little bit either. And also, I need the resources to uh, make new weapons. They're the ones that are dropping the fossilized twigs. So now I need to find one of the wood dispensers in here. The only problem is I have no idea where any of them are. Perfect. Guess the enemy's dropping was just enough. Still can't afford any of the weapons, though.
Oh yeah, I need to equip the urn. Te urn. Prepare the shrine using 20 withered hardwood and 20 fossilized swigs. Prepare the shrine or let it rot. You repaired the shrine with the wood and materials on hand. Thanks to your careful craftsmanship, the shrine looks better than ever. It's literally glowing. For some reason, it feels as if there's a light coming from the statue. The iron statue has numerous offerings piled in front of it. The shrine is now completely repaired. Which ability was it? Ground Fang. I set it to the B bomb. So I need to remember that. Nice! The ability looks ridiculously overkill, and I love it. get my ally strength by smacking him. I mean, hey, if it works, it works. <laughs> you even knocked them back? How many more times do I have to use this until it maxes out? the one on this skill, right? Okay. Party. Swap, because Mustafa really sucks. 100%. He can get his much better Violet Dual Blade. his weapon here. Let's let's adjust the party accordingly actually. So he's a heavy user, so throw geese in. And Sigrun, why not? Doesn't make any difference. No, Sigrun actually has a skill, right? Yeah, heavy blast. He doesn't because we could not afford his weapon. Alright, we did what you asked. We wasted our resources. So you fixed the shrine for me. Thank you ever so much. The Guardian protects Shinoa's harvest and ensures abundant growth. I'm pleased that you showed much care with something that's so important to me. Here's a little something for you. Go on, dearie. Take it. You more than earned it. Thanks. 
You know, I just remembered something. You're supposed to offer spiritual water when a new shrine is built. Without spiritual water to consecrate the grounds, the shrine can't truly be considered complete. But of course, you can't just find spiritual water lying around. What to do, what to do. Oh, hello there. Hello there. Do we have spiritual water? Don't we have, like, one spiritual water? We have one spiritual water. Perfect. That was a lot of damage. Alright, I'm guessing one spiritual water should be enough. According to the elder woman in Chinoa, you need spiritual water co to consecrate the shrine. It means a fair amount of water will be needed, and you do not have enough on hand. Darn. I don't even know where to get the darn stuff. So then, I guess we'll be moving on to the next village. Check out more of Geese's skills, considering I don't really play much with this stuff. Let's see. He only has Reaper. So all of his skills right now are garbage. He has like he has the coolest design of all the characters in the game, in my opinion. But he has the worst skill set. Nice. Oh wait, never mind. Mustafa is probably worse, because he is so ridiculously slow. Let's go. And now we could check out that uh, place over here, maybe.
to take the main road and see if they actually have the whole place blocked off. Because I feel like it would be kind of stupid if that wasn't the case. Considering we're, we're being hunted by them, basically. So... I want to look around and see if there's anything good here, though. Oh. I actually inflicted him with heavy. Well, that was much easier than last time. Stomp though. Keep this time yet. Hawk I3. So anybody with strike is able to destroy these blocks. Oh no, anybody can destroy those. They want to remove the boulders. It seemed like I couldn't destroy those with uh, Adol before. But I could destroy them with Dogi. box. Titanobone times ten. Thanks for the bones, mysterious stranger. Twenty titano fluid. I guess it means it's about time we waste time, so that way we cannot die. Oh god damn it! Let's put those weapons away and rest for a bit. <laughs> Wasn't expected to be rushed right out the gate. See, looks like our super is charged up again. Let's look at Elk Super. I wonder what it's like. We'll use it on the big dog. That was very underwhelming. All these are like mini boss fights. This is even like. This is pretty much exactly that boss that we fought in the Colosseum. Except I think it's less AoE attacks. Which I am thankful for that at least. 
If he was just as powerful as he was in there, he'd probably be much more difficult to face. We got a silver telegnosis? What the f fuck? The hell does that mean? Shows all nearby items, ex enemies, items, and etc. on the minimap. Okay, that's actually really good. Don't really need it though, unfortunately. They're like hiding in the rocks. Chugal extract, but I cannot carry it. Oh no, there's two of them. That's a dead end. Actually, that probably leads back to the main road. Oh, one of the cards. We found like what? Three or four of them, I think, now? That's disappointing. Complete dead end. Nothing even here. Huh. What happened? Oh. So it's the way to open it from the other side. I know exactly where we are now. I'll we'll spit on that road. But I kind of don't want to go out there. So let's head back through uh, this way and see if we can head to Octago. Why not? Let's see what happens. Something interesting might happen. Who knows? Also. Doesn't hurt to kill things. Powerful now. I don't remember the stones being there. It just seemed like he was just spinning. And he happened to hit him.
I always must start the range of that. here. No, it's just the little ones. Sorry, little ones. Also, there's that Titano to the north. I may be able to beat the crap out of him now. Oh, they did add a more powerful monster to this section, too. It's good for them for consistency. They didn't leave this area be. Well, I don't think we have to check the cave. Looks like we won't be getting near Altaga City anytime soon. Yes, we're no match for these numbers. It will be dangerous to approach the city at present time. But you have other tasks to complete as well, right? We should priori prioritize those for the time being. city. Very bad at remembering. It's a gram. There's a rock over here that I didn't... Like, I didn't blow it up before. I didn't realize I could. It's right up here, right? Yeah. A Vitality Belt 1. That's what I missed. Alright. Alright, so there's a big boy over here. Enough for you to win, but as I'll try. How much, how much HP you got? Oh yeah, this will be easy.
win. That's a quest completed. What do we get out of it, though? Dragon rights and EXP? Huh. Quest 18, Tit Titano Hunt, Bal Kilios completed. I got a dragon orb. Allows natural health recovery in various places. Oh, so now I can heal inside of uh, dungeons with it. I see. It's like the, uh, or like the spirit cape or the water cape in the first game. Or Memories of Salsetta. Which technically is the spiritual sequel to this game in terms of development order. monster that was here is no longer here. That's probably why. And that's also why we have to go through the wildlands. Because this whole section is barricaded off. Hey look, there's a, bu there's a chest there. I want it. What is that? It is a Dragonite encampment. Generally set up as a home base for Titano hunts. However, in this case, special permission has been given to find the felon Adel Kristen through any means necessary. They'll be stationed here until you are caught without fail. Good times. We need to find another way past. If they see us, we're as good as captured. We have to avoid this encampment and any others like it. That means... We need to go through the wildlands, so we have to go this way. Eh, we're gonna have to waste time either way. Levels are always nice too.
have to go through here again. So we can actually discover the, uh... Some point where we can teleport look farther in. These ones are very easy to take care of. Even if I suck. I only have one attack. I wonder if this will increase healing. We'll see. Good time for a water break anyway. Considering I haven't drank anything in the past two and a half hours. <clears throat> yeah, I have no idea if the healing is any faster. I do not believe it is. to go. It is exactly the same as Ayusha's ultimate, just with a different name. That is disappointing, but expected. On their encampment again. I'm sure to be a big guy here. Or not. All right. Oh, it's vibrating. There's one somewhere here. Or is those supposed to be just like tremors from like the... Like... Nope. The game like has like... The, the country has been having earthquakes in the, in the timeline. Because, uh, because of the whole country going to shit. Just hit a 
dang flying enemy with a single arrow. Just one. Oh hey, the Lama Cart guy. Such a hassle. How am I expecting to get to Kylos now? The Drainers will let me through. What a pain. The Drainers will let me through here. What a pain. I can't just spend the night in the plains. The only thing I do is head back to Sagram, I suppose. To Sagram, then. But now that we are able to teleport here, let's go back to Shinoa to buy more weapons or armor. Or both. Ah, Earth Knocker. That's a new one. Here you go, doggy. I can synthesize that. That is good. That way Adel has a good, non-shitty weapon. I can also make these for Dogi, but fuck that. Um... Storm Axe. Geese could definitely use a new weapon. And I am too poor to get anything else. Alright, let's go back to party. Switch out Elk for Dogi. Give Dogi his new... His brand spake a new gauntlets, or is he already wearing them? He is already wearing them. And... Uh, Earth Knocker. Yeah! I'm wild, yeah! Place a groon. He doesn't have anything new to learn anyway. Who knows? Maybe this nuke stability will be good. Spiral slash. Draws in and nearby enemies and shreds them. Out of the way. So he is literally Lloyd Bannings from when he learns the helix that helix attack in uh I think it's he learns that in Azure. Not in Zero from one of the bracers. I'm not feeling super tired, so I'm going to keep going. Ah, so that's how we get through to the next one. Ding, ding. So Dogi's new skill is an AoE. Oh, found the Titano. What? Huh. 
was almost certain I had the good had good timing on that one, but must have been very slightly off. wide radius, does it? Found another Picard. I don't even know how many of them how many of them there are. Dragon energy drop. Cool. Didn't realize I was missing that. This one missing after the deal with. Hey, Titanos. I hear you. There you are. skill. So now I can replace him. So we have an even party. Um, sure. You get in here. We could probably kill the Titan over here, too. Titan will farm a little bit. Keep out. New. I was not expecting three thousand damage. I'll tell you that much. Tenno's a cute spider again. Well, 
probably shouldn't stay up too late. I'll probably end up hurting myself. So I get past this cutscene because my controller stick drifted into the village. So yeah. So Grandma, it's been a while. Maybe you were stuck in that cell too long, huh? Talk about carefree. Mustafa, you're the elder of Sagram, aren't you? Do you know about the do you know the incantation to take us to the sanctum? Unfortunately, I do not. I was only it was only recently that I even learned these sanctum sanctums existed. A stupid father of mine made me elder out of nowhere. He never bothered to teach me any of our, any of our ancestral lore. Though I may be able to find something if I take a look at my father's records. I see. Does it go have to take a look around then, Adel? Mustafa, where have you been all this time? These have taken a turn for the worse. What's the matter? Did another Titano attack? No, it's Krushi. He's taking a turn for the worse. It's not looking good. Oh no. What? Medication isn't working? Her condition worsened suddenly after the earthquake. No matter how much medicine I give her, she doesn't get any better. It's impossible. Why don't the medicine work? Damn it. Krushi, I'm here. Krushi, can you hear me? Mustafa. I hear a voice. Great flame dragon is telling me something. My dreams. It's for you, Mustafa. We should begin muttering some sort of incantation to Mustafa with great effort. Ushi, what did you just say? Is that the spell to the sanctum? This... this is all too much. She fell asleep. But she still looks like she's in a lot of pain. Can't we do something? Mishra, is it, isn't there something you can do for her? You know a lot of spells. Maybe you know something that can at least help her with her discomfort? Unfortunately, none of my arts have any effect on those stricken with Iskin fever. With the medication no longer working, you can only hope her body is able to fight it. I see. We can't just leave her like this. You know, we should stay here and look after her. No. I may lack experience as an elder, but Kushi gave all she had to tell me how to get to the Sanctum. You cannot let her efforts go to waste. If we just stay here, nothing will come of it. And if I don't accompany you, then all would be lost. Mustafa, so you've made up your mind. Sorry to ask this, but would you please take good care of Krushi for me in my absence? I will return as soon as I fulfill my duties as the Elder of Sagram. Yes, of course. I'll see to it that she's as comfortable as she can be. Adol, let's go to the altar. Krushi's condi condition likely mirrors the condition of Altago as a whole. And if the anomalies are intensifying, then we have no time to waste. We must go now. Well, I vote we go later, because I am really tired. So, until next time, good night.